Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff, that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. This is a psalm of instruction concerning good and evil, setting before us life and death, the blessing and the curse, that we may take the right way which leads to happiness, and avoid that which will certainly end in our misery and ruin. The different character and condition of godly people and wicked people, those that serve God and those that serve Him not, that division of the children of men into saints and sinners, righteous and unrighteous, the children of God and the children of the wicked one. This psalm shows us the holiness and happiness of a godly man, the sinfulness and misery of a wicked man, the ground and reason of both. Psalm 34, 15 The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. 1 Peter 3, 12 For the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears attend to their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Matthew 5 3 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The psalmist begins with the character and condition of a godly man, that those may first take the comfort of that to whom it belongs. A godly man, that he may avoid the evil, utterly renounces the companionship of evil doers, and will not be led by them. He walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, etc. This part of his character is put first, because those that will keep the commandments of their God must say to evil doers, Depart from us. Psalms 119 to 115. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. A godly man, that he may do that which is good and cleave to it, submits to the guidance of the word of God, and makes that familiar to him. This is that which keeps him out of the way of the ungodly, and fortifies him against their temptations. Psalms 17 to 4. Though people tried to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent through what your lips have commanded. What is the meaning of the word blessed? Matthew 5, 3, 11. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. 5. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Blessed is the one who delights in the law of the Lord. Psalm 37 to 4. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Joshua 1, 8. Keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. What does the Bible say about judgment? 2 Corinthians 5, 10 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. Hebrews 9, 27 And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. As a child of God, we will not fear judgment because of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 3:18. Whoever believes in Jesus is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. John 3.17 For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him.
Romans 5 to 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is no righteous in the sight of God. Romans 3.10, as it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. But God has given us a new life in Christ. He has given Christ to us as our righteousness. Romans 3, 22-24, this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption. Leviticus 11, 44, For I am the Lord your God, consecrate yourselves therefore, and be holy, for I am holy, and you shall not make yourselves unclean with any of the swarming things that swarm on the earth.